Lately, I was having trouble thinking of what to review as a tie-in for Shang-Chi. Then, I was like, wait a minute, didn't Disney release a movie a year ago, like around the same date, and was all about Asian representation on screen? Unfortunately, it was the shitstorm known as the Mulan remake. Mulan is a 2020 American fantasy action drama film produced by Walt Disney Pictures and a live action adaptation of the 1998 Walt Disney Animation Studio film of the same name, itself based on the Chinese folklore Ballad of Mulan. It was finally released after numerous delays from a certain virus causing a global pandemic, and it was one of many live action adaptations Disney made to feed off our nostalgia dollars. It was also advertised and was confirmed by the filmmakers to be a more mature and realistic version of Mulan. Seriously, it has no musical numbers, no comedy of any sort, and no Mushu. So did it pay off? <laughs> you serious? So let's see what people spent 30 bucks on. This is Mulan 2020. So the film begins in Imperial China, where Han Mulan is a venturous and active girl to the disappointment of her parents, or at least to her mother, who hoped that one day she will be wed to a good husband. In case you were wondering how is she doing all those stunts very well, that's because she has a lot of chi. And if you don't know what chi is, allow me to explain. It's a sort of life energy that in Chinese philosophy is thought to be inherited in all living things. Or in other words, Life creates it. Makes it grow. Its energy surrounds us. And binds us. Luminous beings so we, not this crude matter. And in traditional Chinese medicine, the balance of negative and positive forms in the body is believed to be the essence for good health. But in this film, they treat it like the Force, but also something from Dragon Ball. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about Her. power level? It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? There's no way that can be right! Anyways, Mulan's dad shows her a statue of a phoenix who is the emissary of their ancestors. And yes, that thing replaced Mushu. Then we go to the north where an imperial post is invaded by Rowan warriors under the leadership of Buri Khan played by Jason Lee Scott, who you may know as Bruce Lee in Dragon the Bruce Lee story. They are assisted by the witch Shang Yang played by Gong Li who uses her magic to help the Ronin and poses as a surviving soldier. And keep in mind, the filmmaker said that this film was meant to be a more realistic version, and yet they have a shape-shifting witch. Anyway, she reports the attack to the Emperor of China, played by Jet Li. That's right, that's Jet Li. Jesus, tap dancing Christ, what the fuck happened to you, Jet Li? Anyways, the Emperor then orders every family to contribute one man to fight Khan's army. Then we see adult Mulan, played by Lu Yifei as she is being arranged to meet with a matchmaker to determine her fitness as a future wife. Mulan flustered attempts to pour tea in front of the matchmaker, but a spider scares Mulan's younger sister, Shi Yu, played by Jana Tang, who accidentally causes a mishap that destroys the teapot, leading the matchmaker to call Mulan a disgrace in front of her family. Yeah, thanks a lot, bitch. Then the Imperial soldiers arrive in Mulan's village to enlist recruits, and her father Zhao is forced to pledge his service as he has no sons, and immediately falls in front of the soldiers due to his crippled leg. Seriously, you're that desperate to enlist a crippled man? You might as well use him as target practice. Realizing that her father has no chance of survival, no shit, Mulan flees with his armor, horse, and sword to join in his place. And with no montage, seriously, it just fast forwards through this shit. You may have noticed that she didn't cut off her hair at this moment. Well that's because Chinese audiences didn't like that in the original, since men have fought wars with long hair in the past. 
Anyways, Mulan gets her ass lost. Luckily, a phoenix shows up as her mystical GPS. She then arrives at the training camp, which is run by Commander Tong, played by Donnie Yen. Also, instead of the soldiers bullying her, they are actually quite nice to her, but she behaves like a dick or a bitch, one or the other. Among dozens of other inexperienced recruits, she ultimately becomes a trained soldier because of her chi bullshit. She overcomes no obstacles of any kind. Anyways, Khan's army continues to advance, forcing Tong to end training early and send his battalion to fight. And look what they did to this scene. In the original, we get to see the horrors of war and Shang losing his dad. Here, the actors look more soulless than the corpses themselves. And they also fast forward through that ship. Then we get into a battle scene and Mulan chases some troops on her own. But she is then confronted by the witch, who mocks her for pretending to be a man. Your deceit weakens you. It poisons your chi. Well, was doing fine during the training scene. She attempts to kill Mulan, but her attacks are stopped by the leather with which Mulan's chest is being bound to hide her identity. Mulan then removes her male disguise, returning to battle just as the Rowans begin attacking her fellow soldiers with a trebuchet. Mulan uses her archery skills to maneuver the trebuchet into firing into a snowy mountain, triggering an avalanche which buries the Rowans. Mulan rides back to camp and rescues Chen, a soldier she somewhat befriended in the camp. Also, she just shows the soldiers that she isn't a man because it makes baby Buddha cry. I don't fucking know. Forgive me. You are an imposter. Moreover, she is expelled, but she is willingly asking them to execute her. I would rather be executed. Are you high or just incredibly stupid? I assure you, I am not high. On her way home, she is confronted by the witch, who reveals that she was also shunned by her people and fights for Khan, only because Khan treats her as an equal and that no one else does. Additionally, she reveals that the attacks on the outpost have been a diversion, as Khan's true plan is to capture and execute the Emperor for having his father killed. Risking execution, Mulan returns to her battalion to warn them of the impending capture. The soldiers she, again somewhat befriended, stand up for her by ripping off Spartacus. I believe Juan Mulan. I believe Juan Mulan. I believe Juan Mulan. I'm Spartacus! 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 I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. And then even Commander Tong decides to believe her and allows her to lead a unit to the Emperor's Palace. The witch uses her magic to disguise herself as the Imperial Counselor and persuades the Emperor to accept Khan's challenge to single combat, while removing the city guards from their post. The guards are then murdered and the Rowans prepare to burn the Emperor alive. Mulan's unit distracts the Rowans while Mulan goes to save the Emperor. Khan tries to snipe her with an arrow, but the witch transforms into an eagle and sacrifices herself. Mulan then fights Khan. Unfortunately, her father's sword is destroyed in the process. So she disarms Khan and defeats him with his own sword. She frees the Emperor and we get a cameo from the original Mulan, Ming-Na Wen. Then the Emperor offers to let Mulan join his personal guard, but she declines the offer and returns to her village. Mulan is then reunited with her family, and an emissary from the Emperor and Commander Tong arrive to present Mulan with a new sword while making a personal request that she join the Imperial Army as an officer, and it ends ambiguously. And that was Mulan. The film received generally positive reviews from Western critics who praised the action sequences, costumes, and performances, but criticized the screenplay and editing. Seriously, were these critics smoking crack while watching this shit? It received negative reviews from fans from the original film and the internet in general. It was also criticized for its cultural and historical inaccuracies and its depiction of Chinese people. Seriously, there's a whole video on that and you know you fucked up when it's being broken down culturally. Oh, and it gets better. The film had a shit ton of controversies before it came out. For instance, there was a boycott when Lu Yifei reshared an image posted by the People's Daily, an official newspaper of the Chinese Communist Party, 
which shows her support to the Hong Kong police, who have been beating peaceful protesters. This sparked international controversy with Liu being accused of supporting police brutality in Hong Kong. The hashtag Boycott Mulan has since started trending supporting a boycott to the film. There was also criticism over its production team largely composed of non-Asian people, such as for the roles of director, costume designer, and screenwriters. Also, Captain Li Shang was dropped in response to the Me Too movement. In the filmmaker's statement, they explained that having a commanding officer that is also a sexual love interest was very uncomfortable and we didn't think it was appropriate. Yet yeah, unfortunately, this caused a lot of backlash from fans of the original film and members of the LGBTQ community who deemed Shang's relationship with Mulan's male alter ego, Ping, to be bisexual. Yeah, so much for supporting the LGBTQ community. Oh, and I saved the best one for last. One of the biggest controversies of this film, that filming took place in an autonomous region in Xinjiang province, where the Chinese government put Uyghurs, a Muslim minority in China, in concentration camps, which led to the United States Congress sending a letter to Disney CEO Bob Chapek asking, among other things, for clarification on the Chinese government involvement in the film and the Human Rights Foundation also sending a letter to JPEG asking Disney to condemn human rights violations and consider donating some of the film's earnings to promote human rights in Shenzhen. Also, I almost forgot that the film was a box office bomb with a budget of $200 million, earning as little as 40 to 50 million. And with all that shit, you can imagine how Disney feels about this. Jesus Christ, we're fucking dying here! And one other thing. Take it away, Mushu. Alright, that's it. Dishonor. Dishonor on your whole family. Make a note of this. Dishonor on you. Dishonor on your cow. So yeah, you can tell that I hate this piece of shit movie. The plot was confusing as fuck. The characters are boring as hell. And it's a pale imitation of the original animated film. This version of Mulan is just soulless, emotionless, and unrelatable. Seriously, these writers pretty much broke screenwriting 101. You had no structure, you didn't tell a good story, and you wrote unrelatable characters. You broke rule number one. Hell, I even found the fight scenes to be stale and inferior compared to the ones in Hero, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and even the Shaw Brothers martial arts films are better than this shit. So yeah, basically, fuck this movie and fuck Disney for what they did to make it. And that was the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this. Stay safe out there. Goodbye. Can we be friends? I'm not your friend.